Hello, my name is Karen and I'm currently working through the HTML slash JavaScript Making Web Pages Interactive course on Khan Academy. This is the eighth challenge that we're going to do today and it's called the Inside Story. And this challenge is all about changing the inner HTML property or the text content property to change the text in a web page. So without further ado, our directions say, this is an inside story about the true feelings of Oh Knows and Winston. And in this challenge, you'll fill in the crucial lines. For this first step, use inner HTML to set what Oh no says and include a strong or emphasis tag somewhere in it. Okay, cool. Um, so I'm gonna set what Oh Knows says. So before I do that, I actually wanna read um, what this content says just so I know what to say. Um, it says, the inside story, why is Ono's so sad? We had an exclusive interview with Ono's guy, the era buddy, and we asked him the question that all of you were wondering about. Why do you always seem so sad? Here's his shocking reply. All right, and then we're gonna put our shocking reply there. Okay, cool. Uh... All right, so we need to find the Ono's variable, which is right there, Ono says. And now we're gonna set it using our hint probably, which is right up here. Um, okay, so Ono's says dot, and this says, this first step use inner HTML, okay. Inner HTML equals Okay, what's he gonna say? Sometimes I get stuck when I am coding and I get so frustrated. Cool. All right, we set the text. Oh wait, we need to include a strong strong tag. Okay, strong, frustrated, strong, and then ending strong. Cool. All right, awesome. Keep moving on. All right, you know what, though? I cannot handle this. This is a quote. We are quoting Ono's guy, and we are not putting it in quotation marks, and as a former English major, I cannot deal. I could not read this because I wouldn't know that somebody's talking if I was trying to read this and I was somebody else. So we gotta do backslash to escape and then add more quotation marks. Okay, there we go. We have the beginning one. Sometimes I get stuck when I'm coding. I get so frustrated. Okay, backslash. And then quotation marks. Awesome. Now we have quotation marks and we can tell that someone is talking. That is so much better. Thank goodness. <laughs> um, all right. In this step, we're on step number two now. In this step, use text content to show what Winston says. Make sure you don't include any HTML tags in it. All right. Winston says dot text content equals and backslash again and then I'm just gonna go that that and I want a backslash so I can escape the apostrophe I'm about to type that's okay oh that's okay my friend uh, we all get frustrated sometimes but you can do it if you stick to it. <laughs> All right, so backslash, quotation marks, quotation marks. Aha! Okay, that's okay, my friend. We all get frustrated sometimes, but you can do it if you stick to it. All right, cool. So that's what Winston says in response to Ono's guy's frustration. All right, uh, we are done with this challenge. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much, Hopper, for popping up and telling me congratulations. And I will see you all in the next challenge.